When you think about North Korea, you think of UN sanctions, nuclear weapons, and Kim. But have you ever heard about North Korean art? It turns out that North Korea is home to a company called Mansude, and with 4,000 workers, it might just be one of the biggest art studios in the world. This is the guy connecting Mansude with the West. His name is Pierluigi Caccioni, and he lives, of all places, in a tiny commune in Tuscany, Italy. Pierre has been doing business with Mansude for more than a decade. I had never heard of it. Nobody actually had ever heard of it in the West. It all started on a trip to North Korea with an Italian orchestra in 2005, when Pierre took his first tour of Mansude's studio. I asked them, would you be interested in doing something in the West? And they say, sure. He says dealing with the massive state-run art house proved to be surprisingly easy. Doing business with North Korea is very in a way old-fashioned, so to speak. So they are very trustworthy. And uh, what they say they do, and what you say you have to do. There is EHL in Pyongyang, and so they are sent through EHL to us, and they arrive in five days. Okay, so these two football paintings uh, are part of a, of a series the artwork that arrives ranges from $300 to six or 7000 And Pierre's brought back almost every type imaginable. Woodcuts, oil paintings, embroideries, even jeweled paintings made of crushed, semi-precious stones. The bestsellers, propaganda posters. It says, if the U.S. come, we'll stop them with one blow. Recently, though, business hasn't been good for Pierre. In August 2017, the UN sanctioned Mansude, making it impossible for him to buy anything new. We do not have works on consignment. We go there, buy, bring them here, show them, and try to sell. And now, since last year, we can't buy any longer. Here we have some exhibited, but... So, why sanction an art studio? These are woodcuts. Well, Mansude has historically served as a cash cow for Kim Jong-un's regime. It's done it by selling large, bronze, socialist-inspired statues, bringing in millions of dollars in hard currency for North Korea, using cash sales to evade sanctions. According to Pierre, the statue business is very different from the Mansude he deals with. It's like a big... Uh... Really, a big art company, the very large statues that were made in Africa and in some places in Asia. And that's something that's really Mansure, but is so different from all other things. Mansure, when it was mentioned specifically in the sanctions, was because of the statues. I don't think they had the right perception of what Mansure really is. I am with the artist who made this thing. Luckily for Pierre, working with Mansade isn't his only job. He runs a host of other businesses too. For the moment though, his life as a North Korean art dealer is over. <laughs>